Greetings, loyal subjects. Thought you'd like to see my lovely face once again. This is a very good point. Now, let's try and fill a few people in who may not be up to speed with this. Perking Warbeck was a pretender, allegedly, uh, during the reign of my father. He suddenly appeared on the scene, claiming to be the younger of the two princes in the tower. Now, if this was true, he would be the rightful king of England, of course. So, huge battles took place. Eventually, Warbeck was taken. Initially, he kind of got dissolved into my father's household a little bit. Um, then a few things happened. Anyway, ultimately, he ended up in the tower. He allegedly tried to escape. Again, not really the subject of this, but there is doubts about that as well. He ultimately ended up being hung for treason at Tyburn. Okay, he was hung specifically because they were illustrating the fact that he wasn't who he said he was. He was purely a, a commoner, which ultimately he confessed to being. I mean, this was a, a massive, elaborate ruse that pulled in a lot of European royalty who supported his claim that he was, in fact, Richard, the younger of the two princes in the tower. This wasn't a small thing at all. So he was hung at Tyburn, okay, as common traitors were. But then something odd happened, in my view. He got buried in Austin Friars, which was, you know, um, a, a monastery, effectively. Why would a commoner get buried, effectively, in a place of honour? So there's funny things happening there. So we, coming back to the question, why can't we test his bones? Well, we don't really know where those bones are. And there's problems, obviously. There was the dis disillusion of the monasteries. So Austin Fry's got dissolved. A lot of that ended up in the hands of my chief minister, Thomas Cromwell, who kind of built his fancy house there. However, the church survived. And the church itself, where probably he was buried in, if he was going to be buried anywhere on that site, it got handed over uh, during the reign of my son, Edward VI, to overseas Protestants as kind of a refuge for them to come and worship in. And it became known and is known today as the Dutch Church in London. One further problem in trying to find um, his remains in the Dutch Church is that basically it got destroyed during the Second World War and was rebuilt. Of course, just because the church was rebuilt doesn't necessarily mean that what was below the ground got destroyed. But you've got to dig for him. You've got to then make some kind of assumption that, yeah, this is his body. And then, obviously, what we're trying to do here in this case is link him back to Richard III to kind of prove that he was um, Richard III's nephew and therefore he would have been the rightful king of England and not my father and history would have been a very, very, very different place.